Hi everyone. So I want to talk about why drawing fundamentals are really, really important. And this is all of the recent videos I've been doing have been just going on and on and on and on and on and on about drawing fundamentals almost tirelessly like I never get tired of talking about them. And I, I am already tired of talking about them. The, the problem is that when you hang out in art communities and you see the stuff that people give to each other for advice. It just makes you realize how much people don't actually know about art fundamentals. And I think it's, this is a, a, a kind of thing, it, it's, it's like trying to, um, to talk about art fundamentals in this day and age. It's, it feels at times like an uphill battle. Because it's just, in my case, like I, sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who ever you know, talks about these things. Um, and then there's also the fact that you know, after you say one thing, you kind of expect to see the results of whatever you just talked about kind of instant, instantaneously. It's unrealistic. Obviously, this, this crap always takes time to, to sink in. Um, and you know, that, I guess that's why. That's why I keep going on and on about this stuff. And so when I do talk about drawing fundamentals, I, I, the only thing I can do is I can just explain different ways. I can basically say the same thing in different ways. So here's another way. Here's another way for me to explain how drawing fundamentals are important. Um, I do teach. I, I do teach at an online college. Um, and... I see students who, let's just put this in from, from the, the idea, like let's just talk about this, not from the drawing standpoint, but let's say we were talking about um, building houses. So if we're building a house, um, then it's like, imagine if I was a person who was teaching people how to build houses and the problem, well, I mean, they, they show me a house and they're talking and, and the, the, the kids or the students are saying, here, look at this, you know, here's, here's a house that I built, you know, look at the, the I, and, and I was wondering if you could help me make some, you know, selections as to the paint colors and maybe some of the moldings and, and the furniture and maybe some of the de that decorations and the curtains and, and the lights. And for me, now that I've been doing this stuff for, you know, over a decade, it gets harder for me because when I look at, at this, this house that they're showing me and they're asking for advice on the level of the lights and the furniture and, you know, the superficial level, and I'm looking at their house, which has been built on quicksand, not on bedrock, on, on quicksand. It's been, and, and the... The foundation has, they have not laid a foundation. They never dug out a basement. The house is slowly sinking into the ground at an angle. And I can tell that within, within a year, this house will probably be condemned for destruction. All right. That's, that's what I'm up against. Right. And, and it, it means that if I'm going to help that student out, I have to, I have to, to give them the bad news, which is I have to tell them to, to tear the house down. You have to tear the house down, bulldoze it all into a dumpster and cart that off, you know, and, and then you have to redraft the blueprints, maybe even select a completely different site that's not on quicksand, or we have to, we have to, we have to excavate all the quicksand and then start putting in, you know, some proper filler material, you know, or, or, or we have to basically dig down to the point where we're at the bedrock, excavate all the quicksand to the bedrock, level the bedrock, get the concrete poured in there, you know, get your reinforcement bars in there and build the thing from the ground up. It requires that you tear things down to the fundaments. And that's, that's, that's the hard thing, right? Like that's the hard thing to, um, to, to tell people, to tell students um, that everything that they know in terms of, you know, line weight, line quality, um, you know, painting and rendering and whether or not, you know, this, this is important or that, like, you know, like little things, like if their anatomy is okay. And I'm like, guys, you, you can't even draw a straight line. You can't even, 
don't even have a sense of perspective and it's like you have to tear you have to tear all this stuff down to the fundaments um you know down down to the little you know down to the smallest bits and pieces and um you know that's why i you know that's why it's hard to teach art and and that's why i'm always you know ty almost tirelessly going on and on and on about this 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 really you know boring fundamental stuff to the point where i'm like you know what i i actually feel like i don't want to um like i don't think i'll be doing so much uh, illustration anymore like i mean i like i feel like i've pushed illustration as far as i as far as i want um as far as i can because at at, at this point I can only make the drawing look more real. I can't really get more feeling into the thing. I can't get a better story out of it. And, you know, because of that, I, I'm now wanting to do more animation because I feel like with animation, there's more room for improvement. There's more, and it's more of a, a there's more drive towards better line work, like to better draftsmanship. It's, it's animated, moving draftsmanship. There's a, there's a greater challenge within animation. Um, and there's always more work that could be improved. I mean, like th this to me, animation is the kind of thing that you can kind of devote to, you know, lifelong improvement. So, you know, I just wanted to get that, you know, really wanted to get that off my chest, and um, you know, just kind of find find a way to explain or respond to people who, you know, who don't quite understand why it is that I don't do some of the more quote-unquote advanced stuff and it's because I feel that it's better to advance the basics and you know I, I, I think that that if people were to like the thing is this is that I I say I've been drawing for you know over a decade now but I would say that the first three and a half years were wasted wasted because I didn't have the fundamentals and I was just kind of farting around and not getting better. And it, the only time I started to get better was when I, when I did a teardown. I did a teardown of my skills and went right back to the basics to the point where I was practicing straight lines. I was practicing straight, like just drawing straight lines, drawing circles, drawing curves, and you know, trying to do a, a better job of that. Um, you know, then I, then once I felt that I, I had adequate control over drawing straight lines, then I started to practice drawing cubes, you know, and, and I would practice you know, cubes and then after cubes, I would just do, you know, just pure perspective drawing and I would do lots and lots of this raw fundamental stuff. And the thing is I kept returning to the raw fundamental stuff as well. And finding other ways to just get better and better at that raw fundamental stuff, and I and I really held off on a lot of the the, the you know nice rendering stuff. And to this day, like I just you know I got, I I've gotten so much better now. I can actually render photo realistically, and like when I animate, like I've got a really good sense of lighting when I when I animate. Like here, I'll show you. Um, Just a second. I'm just loading something up into a here. And let's look at. So this is, you know, this is what I, I think is really nice about animation is that you take all of those fundamentals of being able to draw in perspective and being able to draw optical illusions and then you repeat those basics frame by frame by frame by frame. I'm using a program called TVP Animation Pro or TV Paint. It's bitmap based animation software. You could use other programs. I hear Krita has, um, or Krita is free and has um, bit, bitmap animation capability, but uh, TV Paint is much more expensive. It's uh, It's like it's over a grand. But, um, you know, this stuff is all, like, the lighting that you see is hand-drawn. Like, I can just pause. Can I, can I pause? Can I step through, like, frame by frame? No, I can't. Okay. So, if I slow it down and just go frame by frame, that's just an airbrush. 
and then I just erased out shadows to do this lighting, and then I cut out lighting on all the planes here, right? All of this stuff, and then I go from white, then orange, then you know, white, orange, red. It's a white, orange, white, yellow, orange, red ramp. Um, you get that appearance of of a muzzle flare. You know, it's like very white, kind of cold, white, yellow, orange, red. And you know, same thing with all these little muzzle flares. Those are just going in there with brushes and, and again painting all that stuff in. Like you get in, you get to the point where you can just do all that stuff manually. And this is, you know, how far you can take the fundamentals. And you know, I just wish that people would, you know, really grasp um, how the fundamentals themselves are not boring. How the fundamentals are. Are the building blocks for something you know far more interesting, um, and that you know I wish I wasn't the only one talking about this stuff. I wish that people would get out on these communities and you know ex explain and you know do something about all the misinformation um, that's out there because I see so much really bad constructive critique um, because it's not constructive, right? It's that people don't. People are giving a lot of advice without actually knowing any of the fundamentals. They don't. They've never done a teardown in their life, and um, and so they're just they're just all they're doing is they're just teaching people how to, you know, build the house on shaky ground, and to focus on all these superficial aspects. and And they're trying to redline drawings when they themselves can't draw. And it's just it's 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 the cesspool. It's this you know it's it's this festering cesspool, and it's not getting better. So yeah, I I think it's just you know in North I, I just feel like we we um we we're in need of a renaissance you know we're in need of there's so many people who want to get into drawing but you know the uh, the thing is I just feel like people aren't getting you know the basic they're not getting their basics down and uh, and and it it the situation just I don't know like I said I've been doing it for ten years and I just feel like I step on any art community and I just feel like things haven't improved. You know, have, things haven't gotten anywhere. Anyway, enough of that. I'll talk to you all later.